the fun's all over. Jumped in the bed and the bed turned over. Fiddler's drunk and the fun's all over. And I'm going home to my family. Virginia and Kentucky like to claim him. He was born in West Virginia and lived most of his life in Kentucky, uh, just right on opposite banks of the river, pretty much. Um, this is called No Corn on Tiger. <coughs> Special to us, we live right along the Tiger River, which might or might not be the Tiger River that uh, this song refer this tune refers to, but uh, we, we like to claim it. <coughs>
And um, I guess we'll do another fiddle tune. This I, I learned this uh, tune from my dad, who uh, grew up in, in Philadelphia and said that he used to listen to a, a radio station out of Cincinnati at night. Um, and the guy who was the overnight DJ was Lee Moore, the coffee drinking Nighthawk. And oh wait, no, it wasn't Cincinnati. It was Wheeling. It was out. Of, it was WWVA out of Wheeling. And um, Lee Moore, the coffee drinking Nighthawk, had the the night the overnight shift, and this was his theme song. Cincinnati rag. <laughs> country song for you here. I hope that's okay. Come to your house, sing your country music. This is one from the great Merle Haggard. Um, and we were talking about maybe like taking a little detour to, I guess it, every to, time we come here we say we're gonna take a detour and go to Bakersfield. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't oil yet. Just right down the road. Yeah. <laughs> See that's the reaction we get every time we talk about Bakersfield in California. <laughs> need to go there <laughs> but we're gonna someday someday doesn't isn't the crystal palace still there isn't there yeah yeah we got to go to the crystal palace sometime but for you know yeah check out some buck owens but this is merle haggard song it's little swing doors for you <clears throat> Oh, 
always feel start to feel more more comfortable in a show when we've really gotten into the drinking and heartache songs. <laughs> so I, you don't want to leave them for too late in the set. <clears throat> Got to set the mood. Do I have the wrong instrument? Uh, I think you have the right instrument and I have the wrong instrument. I just hadn't gotten there yet. <clears throat> Trade it up. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a song that I wrote. Um, I was inspired by a, uh, a, a tape I had of um, uh, Melvin Wine talking to um, Jimmy Triplett. Melvin Wine was a great fiddle player from uh, West Virginia. And Jimmy is interviewing him, talking about his music. And uh, he told this story. He sang, Melvin sang a couple bars of the Hank Williams song, uh, Tramp on the Street, and said that he'd learned it from a guy who he saw walking up and down the street in Sutton, West Virginia, kind of agitated and just singing the chorus of this song over and over again. Um, and so I wrote this song uh, about that guy trying to imagine who he might have been. He walked around town singing only tramp on the street. He shuffled and stumbled, he'd worn out the shoes on his feet. The first leaves had turned and the air had a touch of a chill. In the late days of summer, it seems like time can stand still. He had work cutting timber to build up railroads and miles. One job to the next he had traveled for most of his life. But there's only so much that one person's body can stand. Hard work and hard living in time takes a toll on a man. A letter that morning had told him an old friend had died. Somebody from home where he'd been gone so long seemed like it must be a dream. Where the threads of his memory unraveled and tore out the sea. tramp on the street He shuffled and stumbled He'd brought out the shoes on his feet First leaves had turned and the air had a touch of chill In the late days of summer it seems like time can stand still
messed up the instrument changing on the set list because I really wanted Jesse to then play you a, um, a Melvin Wine tune because Melvin really was the, the guy who inspired that song through his telling, his memory of the guy in Sutton. Um, was such a great fiddler in Central West Virginia and really uh, shaped the playing of a lot of folks in our area. And so I wanted Jesse to play you a tune from him, his repertoire. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is um, called Patty on the Turnpike. And it's Milton <clears throat> played a lot of really, really unusual tunes and, and a lot of unusual versions of common tunes. And this is sort of a, uh, an unusual version of Patty on the Turnpike. <laughs> Yeah. 
first half with a couple more songs, both of which are on our Deep End record, Deep End Sessions record, which I believe there's a stack of in the back if you want to take sale now. for sale now. Yes, don't delay. Um, we have a, a bunch of the songs that we've done in this set, several of the songs we've done in this set, and some more we're doing in the second set are on that record. Um, and so <clears throat> we're going to do first one that we learned from, or that was written by Ola Bell Reed, a wonderful singer and banjo player from uh, North Carolina, who also lived a bunch of her life in Maryland. And uh, Jesse's dad got to hear her play in the Maryland DC scene. Um, really great singer. She, she put out a bunch of records, some with her family, her son and her husband playing with her. Uh, should check them out. This is a song she wrote called Undone in Sorrow. And this is one we learned from the Stanley Brothers. <clears throat> it's called The Roving Gambler. We're going to get all the order of all the verses and everything right. Pretty sure. 90% sure. Okay. Well, daughter, oh, 
dear daughter, how can you treat me so? Then leave your poor old mother here and with the gambler go. With the gambler go and with the gambler go. Mother, oh dear mother, you know I love you well. But the love I have for that gambling man, no human tongue can tell. No human tongue can tell. Deck of cards, I lay my money down. Lay my money down. 